What is going on guys? Today we are in a Mexican supermarket called Mega and we're just going to be checking out the different products they have, comparing them to products that you might find in the United States and just seeing what kind of stuff we can find here in the supermarket. So let's go. Bueno, no sé. Alright, so I didn't have any luck on the last one, and these are my last five pesos, but I have a good feeling about this one. <laughs> hey, which one do you want me to win? The Maybe the bear? The bear? Bear? Or the kangaroo? The bear looks easier to get, so I'm gonna try it. Yeah. You got this, babe. <laughs> I was only four. Oh. Agendas, cookies and cream. The M and M's ice cream looks good. Look, this that lime ice like cream looks bomb. I want to try it. What is that? Is that flan? Yeah. But they got so many different types of Jellos, and I don't know what it is about Jello. I always want to buy it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful artificial green. These always look good to me. I don't know why. They are blasting music in here so loud. They got to sell those speakers, I guess. This reminds me of being in Spain. El jamón serrano, a leg on this like, I'm not sure what that is, a carving board, I guess? Super typical in Spain. So I guess the Spanish influence here in Mexico still survives to this day. So we have this in the States, beans in cans. Here they have beans I think it's in the bags. Thing. And this is like typical, this is what Sophie buys. So many options of beans. Refried beans, black beans, Peruvian beans. Yeah, with chorizo, with chorizo and cheese. Keeping in the themes of bags, they even have soups in bags here. Got some like chicken noodle soup in a bag. So I guess you just add water. Oh, we've arrived to the salsa aisle. It's a good sauce right here for chilaquiles, salsa verde. So many kinds of tajin. What is this, tajin dulce now? I've never seen that in the United States. Tajin is like a spice mix that's used on fruit. You'll see it all the time in like baseball stadiums and stuff like that, or just like in the subway if you're in New York or wherever. It's all over the place really now. Have you ever tried the sweet one before? We have like a lot of sweets, like candies with chamoy, but it's still spicy. Everything in Mexico is spicy, like has spice to it. Even stuff like for kids, like candy has, yeah. has spice. Yeah, so everything here is with chiles and with limon, peppers and lime. Even the mayonnaise comes with lime. And this is actually really good. When you tell a Mexican person that you like chipotle, they have no idea what you're talking about because here chipotle is the chipotle peppers. Now we've made it to the sweets aisle and the breads. These are good. Gansito. What can I compare them to? Honestly, there's like no comparison in the United States. They have like a sort of, they have like a strawberry jam filled center and then marshmallow on top covered in chocolate with a cake. Really good. Galletas sabor limon. Those look good. So I think it's interesting they have all these different combinations of like cakey, sweet, pastry things. Like this thing, sponge, which just looks like a piece of toast with marshmallows on top of it. Look, a mica. A mica is so common here. It's a tea? Yeah. And they got so many options for juice. This is crazy. So I tried this one. This one is like a green juice with orange and pineapple and pear, and then it's got like nopales, cactus, and celery. It was good. <laughs> and it feels like I'm being healthy because there's something green in it. Arizona is not in a big can. It's just in a regular sized can. Look at this one. Oh my god, that is so like that is the tiniest tiny. juice box I've ever seen. I can finish this in like one sip, honestly. But they have a lot of like size. You know, this one or this one. Yeah, that's one, crazy. They have so much variation. I'm gonna buy this because I love mango. I've been addicted to mango since I got here. You know, once you grow up and become a boss, you get the big boy juice box, you know what I'm saying? You get this... 
<laughs> they even have like fun size Gatorades to show you like for comparison. This is my hand. There you can see for comparison with a bigger bottle. Okay. Chocolate covered gummy bears and that looks actually bomb. That looks delicious. I love this. Kinder Bueno? Yeah. Mini? It's my favorite thing. My favorite chocolate. Well, Kit Kat. I think it's my favorite one, but then... Boobulubu! I love Boobulubu. I don't know what Boobulubu is. I've never tried it, Boobulubu, but I like the name. Boobulubu, 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 Boobulubu. I feel drunk right now. Oh wow, so these are... We have like pre-made popcorn, but we don't necessarily have this. Cookies and cream popcorn, chili limon, queso caramelo. So there's some weird combinations. Mango enchilado. This is like spicy mango. So they start the kids young here in Mexico with their addiction to spicy food. All the different chips they have here that we don't have in the United States. And of course, Doritos are international. These are good, these rancheritos. These are like barbecue flavored Fritos. And I've had those before, those are good. Mmm, limon, sabritas, lime, flavored lays, are bomb. Oh, oh. Oh. You're so... I got you. Careful, if Woo. we break it, we buy it. So strong. Yeah, do you work out? Yeah. A lot? Yeah. I can tell by the way you pick up that watermelon. I know. Let me... <laughs> 